Hi everyone, it's Miss McNaughton and it's time for today's story. Now, if we have a think, we've done the bear hunt. We've also done the Wizard of Oz and both of those stories are going on a journey and today's story is exactly the same. This is the story of the Little Red Riding Hood and I think she might go on a journey too. Let's see if we can spot where she goes. I thought I'd go and visit Grandmother today, said Little Red Riding Hood. That's a good idea, replied her mother. Why don't you take her a basket of treats? She has been sick and they will cheer her up. Be careful walking through the wood. There may be wolves. And should we have a look what's under the blanket? Mm -hmm. Lots of lovely treats for Granny. Little Red Riding Hood loaded the basket with lots of lovely things. I'll put some apples in as well, she thought, and pick some shiny red ones from the tree. But she didn't realise that a hungry wolf was watching everything she did. I wonder if you can spot the wolf. Hmm, should we lift this bit up and see? <gasps> there he is in the tree! Oh, Little Red Riding Hood, watch out! The wolf jumped out in front of Little Red Riding Hood as she skipped through the forest. Don't come near me, she warned him, or I'll shout for Will the Woodman. I only wondered where you were going, answered the wolf. To see my grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood explained, and no, you can't come as well. Off you go. Here's that big bad wolf behind that tree. The wolf slunk back into the bushes. Little Red Riding Hood went on her way but in the middle of the wood, she stopped to make a daisy chain for her grandmother. The wolf, meanwhile, ran ahead to grandmother's house and climbed in through an open window, but someone was watching him. Who's watching the wolf, I wonder? Let's find out. Please don't eat me, begged grandmother. I'm only skin and bone, not a nice meal at all. Don't worry, snarled the wolf. I'm after fresher meat. He tied poor grandmother up and shut her in the cupboard. <gasps> poor granny's in the cupboard. Watch out, little red riding hood. As soon as he had shut grandmother away, the wolf went to her wardrobe. He took out a big night dress and put it on. Then he put on his best nightcap and her glasses and jumped into bed. I wonder what he's doing. I think he's pretending to be grandma. What do you think? <gasps> yes. That's exactly what he's doing. I think he's trying to trick Little Red Riding Hood. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at the house and knocked on the door. The wolf called out in a gruff voice, Who is it? It's Little Red Riding Hood. Can I come in? You sound very hoarse. And here she is, behind the door. How kind of you, said the wolf. Please come in. And I, I mean... I mean, we'll have something to eat. And there is the wolf under the bed. Uh-oh, he's got his knife and fork there. Silly wolf. Little Red Riding Hood found her grandmother tucked up in bed. I'm a bit better now, said grandmother in husky voice, but it's lovely to see you anyway. You look a little different, said Little Red Riding Hood, peering at her. What big eyes you've got. All the better to see your pretty face with, replied her grandmother. And look, it's the wolf underneath. I've never thought this before, said Little Red Riding Hood, peering closer. But what big ears you've got as well. All the better to hear you with, answered grandmother. And look, there's the wolf trying to hide his ears. And I, and I hope you don't mind me saying, said Little Red Riding Hood, peering very closely indeed. But what big teeth you've got! All the better to eat you with, snarled the wolf as he jumped out of bed, tore off his nightclothes and leapt at the little girl. Uh-oh! Watch out, Little Red Riding Hood! But before he reached Little Red Riding Hood, Will, the woodman, burst through the door. The wolf took one look at Will's axe and fainted on the floor. Silly wolf. Where's grandmother? said Little Red Riding Hood. And what's that banging from the cupboard? Will opened the cupboard door and grandmother rolled out onto the floor. Uh-oh, she fell over. 
Little Red Riding Hood put her grandmother back to bed and together they shared the basket of treats with Will. It's quite a party, said Grandmother. I'm feeling better already. Fantastic, lovely listening, everybody. Did you spot the journey? I think Little Red Riding Hood made a journey from her house through the forest to Grandma's house, didn't she? Lovely. Have a lovely evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.